Dear students, today we are going to discuss about conversion of an NFA to a DFA. So, in order to construct a DFA for a given NFA, we have to construct three steps. In step 1, we have to construct a state table for the given NFA diagram and in step 2, we have to again construct a state table using subset construction method and in step 3, we have to construct a state diagram. Let us consider an example. This is an example of a NFA. For the given NFA, we have to construct a state table in step 1. So, construction of state table is very easy as you all know. So, let us start from the state A. For the state A, by reading the input symbol 0, we have to look into the diagram given in the question. For the state A, by reading the input symbol 0, A is remaining in the same state, moving to the state B, C, D, E. So, all the states of A, by reading an input symbol 0, has to be mentioned in this state table. So, the states are A, B, C, D, E. Similarly, for the state A by reading the input symbol 1. For the state A by reading the input symbol 1, it is moving to the state E and D. This E and D has to be mentioned in the table. In the similar manner, we have to construct a state table or fill all the transition states for the given states in the diagram. And in step 2, we have to construct a state table again by using subset construction method. So, in order to construct a state table using subset construction method, we have to start from the initial state. From the diagram, the initial state is A. So, we have to see the initial state A from the state table in step 1. So, from the state table, for the state A, for the input symbol 0, the states are A, B, C, D, E. All these are different states which we mentioned in the step 1. But our aim is to show these different states into a single state. In order to show these different states into a single state, we have to remove these commas and represent it as a single state. So, that is the first point we have done in the step 2. We removed all the commas from the step 1 table and return in the table of step 2. See, for the state A, by reading an input symbol 0, it is reaching A, B, C, D, E. This A, B, C, D, E has to be represented as a single state. Similarly, for the state A, by reading an input symbol 1, it is reaching E and D. E and D are different steps in step 1, but we have to represent it as a single state in step 2. Now, for the next state, we have to construct the transition function. So, to which state we have to consider? We have to consider the nearest states of A. So, for A, the nearest states are A, B, C, D, E and E, D. Now, we have to fill the state table for the state A, B, C, D, E under 0 and 1. So, for the state A, B, C, D, E under 0. So, in order to fill this transition function, so, see, delta of A, B, C, D, E for the input symbol 0, how to do it? Delta of A comma 0, delta of A comma 0. You have to look it into the table in step A. Step 1, sorry. Delta of A comma 0. What is the output? A, B, C, D, E. And delta of B comma 0. What is the output? Delta of B comma 0 is C. Delta of C comma 0 is 5. Delta of D comma 0 is E. Delta of E comma 0 is 5. Now, we have to perform the union operation of all the outputs we obtained here. Of all the outputs we got under the input symbol 0. By taking the union operation, we will get the output A, B, C, D, E. 
here c is present already the c is present here so we need not repeat it again e is already present here we need not repeat it again so the output which we are going to get is a b c d e this a b c d e will be the output for the state a b c d e under the input symbol 0 similarly we have to fill for the input symbol 1 for the input symbol 1 for the state a b c d e under input symbol 1 these are the outputs we need to just perform the union operation and write it here so in this way we constructed the transition functions or filled the state table for the state a b c d e now we have to write in the similar manner for the next reachable state of a that is ed for the state ed under 0 and 1 for the state ed under 0 and 1 so for the state ed under 0 it is 5 for the d under 0 it is e perform the union operation we get e so that e is written here similarly for the state ed under the input symbol 1 it is 5 union 5 that is nothing but 5 in this way we completed the uh, writing the transition functions for the nearest states of the state a that is a b c d e and e d next we have to write the transition functions for the nearest states of the state a b c d e so the nearest state of the state for the state a b c d e is a b c d e and b e d so let us consider this one already for the state a b c d e it has been constructed so we need not consider once again now consider the newest state new state b e d for the state b d e under input symbol 0 and 1 we have to follow the same procedure for b e d b e d you have to perform the union operation for b e d so if we perform the union operation we get the output c e and for b e d if we perform the union operation we get the output is e in this manner we completed filling the transition function for the state a b c d e for a b c d e and b e d a b c d e and b e d and next we have to find out the next nearest reachable states for the state e d so in this manner whatever the nearest states we are getting for all the nearest states we have to fill the state table so this filling of the state table with the nearest states is nothing but the subset construction method this is step two and coming to the last step from the state table which we constructed in step 2 we have to construct the state diagram in order to construct the state diagram we have to first identify what are the initial and final states so from the question it is given that a is the initial state so a will remain as initial state even in our step 3 also now it is our turn to decide the final states so here the final state in the question is e but here if we observe these are our new states in the dfa so from this we have to decide which one is the final state here e is the final state in the question so from this states wherever e is present those all will become the final states that is the reason the final state is represented by this into mark but in diagram it will be represented by double circles so now we have to construct a dfa by taking these states as our new states so what are the states a a b c d e e d b e d e c e b and c so that is what we have written here a a b c d e as e is present here this will become the final state here e is present this is the final here also it is final 
E is final here. So, this is the final state. So, wherever E is present, that will be the final state. So, this is C. Don't represent it as a final state ma this is a normal state only don't represent it as a final state it is a single circle only because it is c it is not a final state so wherever e is present that will be our final state see i am representing it with the help of into mark so these all will become the final state now we have to draw the transition lines for the input symbol 0 and 1 this we have to follow the state table which we constructed in step 2 by using this state table we are going to construct the state diagram so this is the procedure of converting an nfa to dfa thank you